Hello and welcome to Architeasy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get this stunning looking render from Revit with using Twinmotion. As you may know that Twinmotion comes for free with the Revit 2024 and if you wonder how you can install it, just check the card above, I explained it in one of my previous tutorials. Inspiration for this tutorial I found in the Helgeland Museum designed by Wadehaugen Architects from Norway. I have to say that I'm not sponsoring them, I simply adore their architecture. And if you would like to know how you can model this roof, just check the card above. I also explained it in one of my previous tutorials. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can make these walls under the roof, also how you can make this kind of the postament, then how you can set up some materials, actually how you can prepare your model for twin motion, and then how you can open it in twin motion, set up uh, some lights, some materials, and make the renders. As I said, I will be using Revit 2024 twin motion, which comes for free with this. I really hope that this method is really going to help you to level up your architectural presentation. So let's just move to Revit and then to Twinmotion. And of course, if you have any questions or wonder about some things, feel free to write in the comments. So in front of me, I have two projects open. The first one is a new empty project, which is start with a metric multidisciplinary template. While this one is the roof I created, as I said, just check the card above if you wonder how you can make it. So what I'm going to do is just load into the project. We'll just skip this information and I can close this one. We'll open 3D and we'll go here to component, place component and we'll pick roof. What I'm going to use will be level two. So let's just place it there. And I'm also going to go here and to open elevation view. So I can take a line and I can align it to the level two. And let me open second level. So now at level one, I will just put the underlay as level two so I can see where my walls are going to go. And then I'm going to go to walls and we'll create a new curtain wall. We'll take this empty one and we'll just duplicate it. Let's just place one here. So what I would like to know is for how much I need to make the offset. So 62.5, I will delete this one. We'll take wall again, rectangular one, and we'll make offset for minus 62.5. Yes, so this looks fine. Well, let me just turn off annotation category so we see it better and I will just select all the walls and we'll connect this to the second level so yeah this seems fine bearing in mind that I'm trying to replicate this picture what I'm going to do next will be this floor inside so let's go to level one and let's just take a floor I will make this one of, let's say, 100 millimeters. And what I'm going to do right now, because I'm preparing model for twin motion, is to create a new material. And I'm going to call this one as, let's say, 01. I can make this with the render appearance and I can just place this. Yeah, it could be this gray color. So let's take it, let's take it from the interior borders. As you, as you may see, this, this needs to be maybe cleaned up, but it's not so important for this purpose. So this seems fine. 
the next thing I'm going to do will be those two floors, you see, like we have some elevation, like a terrain. And in, for this case, I'm going to use floor again, while I'm going to duplicate this one. And I'm also going to create a new material with name O2, for example. So first you see that we have some kind of the circle here. I will make it minus 100. And then what I'm going to do will be to create this postament. I will skip this middle part for now. So for this one, we'll use floor again and we'll duplicate this. We'll make this, let's say, to be two meters, so 2000 millimeters. And also I'm going to make a new material. So let's just make the offset, let's say, of seven and a half meters from this side. And then from this one. While I'm going to make, let's say, four meters by shorter sides. And let's just connect this. is okay maybe I can make this to be a little bit narrower like six meters and then this one as well so that's fine I'm just going to make this minus 200 Actually, this needs to be minus 300 because we have this and we are going to make one more in the middle. So now when I make this shape, the outer shape, I'm going to make this middle form. And again, I'm going to use floor, but in this case, I'm going to use the same one as this circle is. And I can take spline, for example. And I can do the same here. And let's just connect this with the lines. This needs to be minus 200. So yes, that's fine. I have to create two more materials, so first thing what I'm going to do is to select this mullion and then instead of aluminium I'm going to make O4 I think, yes. And also I'm going to make the fifth material, which is going to be for the roof. So for the roof, because I have no parameter for material, I'm going to use the paint tool, so go to modify and then take paint here.
pick O5 material and then just start coloring. Don't forget to, let me select this roof. I'm going to isolate this. HI is a shortcut. And again, I'm going to use paint. PT is a shortcut. And I'm just going to paint the bottom. So the whole surface, all the surfaces are actually painted now. Type HR to reset. And yes, this is ready. I'm going to save the file. And what I'm going to do now is to open this in twin motion so let's go to view and you have twin motion here so just click open in twin motion i'm going to use collapse by material we'll click ok and yes if this happens to you just no worries what you can do you can go to twin motion and you can go export data smith file I'm going to name this as O3. So then again, just go to Twin Motion, go to File, and then go to Import, and then find where you saved your file. So yeah, and that's it. I am going to turn off this and then also this. So I'm next going to go to Tools, and I'm going to use this. And I can take this corner one. Let me place it here. This needs to be dragged down. And now I can just increase the size on, let's say, six meters. And I can take the high on 1.5 meters, for example. And then let me just move this. So yes, this seems fine. Let's increase the radius, something like this. Good. And I will now go to media, we'll click this one and we'll go to camera where I'm going to make my focal length on 60 millimeters so okay I'm going oops let's go and do I'm going to navigate until I make the the view I like so something like this maybe then what I'm also going to create will to use camera effect I will use this parallelism and I'm going to Try to make it maybe something like this. So yes, this seems fine. And again, I'm going just to create an image. So this is going to be my image. And then let's just add some lightings. So first of all, what I'm going to do is to use this HDRI and I'm going to enable it. And instead of this one, I'm going to use, I'm going actually, I'm actually going to go to the library HDRI environments and I'm going to use some of the studio lights. I found this as the fastest way. Of course, you can add some specific lights and you know, you can play as you would like to. And let's just take this one. I have it downloaded. So you just need to take it and drag it here. And then I can try to increase its size, actually intensity. I will make it, let's say 10, for example. And let's play with the rotation, so we adjust the shadows. Maybe something like this is okay. And next thing, what I'm going to do is to add some materials. So I'm going to go to materials and we'll use And we'll use these wall coverings. So let me see this one. I think this one is fine. So I'm simply take it and drag it to my roof. There I'm going to increase its size. So let's make it to 50. I can just take this other picture to see the size. 
let's go to materials here again and let's try to make this to 100 i think this is better then i'm going to use some of the woods we have I can take this ash and I'm just going to drag it over over mullions. Again, I'm going to make a scale of, let's say, 25. I will make rotation on 90 degrees so it goes vertically and it's fine. This floor here inside, inside the house, I'm going to use the plaster, the same as I take for this. And then for the postament, I am going to use some other materials you have beautiful materials here i can take for this one maybe this modeling material so you know they have clay maybe this clay will be fine let me see And I did it here as well. So let's just go to media. I will click on this picture. And the next thing I'm going to do will be to set up some things for the render. I can maybe add more contrast, something like this. Let me see. I can make it on 60, actually 55. And then for the image, I will pick the output I can pick 4k and also when I go to export I have to select the picture here the image too we'll pick the format jpeg and then for the details if you would like to have some things to increase the quality like this refinement I can just click high so it's going to increase the the reflections in we have in a model and the last thing to make a picture is just to click here, start export, pick the folder where we would like to export it and just select it. Uh, if you would like to make the new image, you just need to rotate, find the proper angle. Let's say that I can make this one, something like this, but I can select this to go a bit more right, for example, and then to increase the height. 1.8 meters so let's say that this is my new new angle i'm just going to adjust it a little bit yep so the way to get a new angle is just click this plus here and that's add image so for this one i don't need to have any high you know the quality if you if you click on high, you saw that the render time is uh, quite high. Actually, it's way higher. And the quality, the difference between the quality is not so big. So I will suggest you to skip this part. You can, you can have this refinement on off. And I'm just going to click on image. I will pick the third one right now. And I'm going to export it. So again, just pick the folder. And you will see now how our renders look like. So... Here comes our exported renders and you see that they are looking quite good. Of course, you can play in and add some other materials. You can uh, make the better lightings and so on. I just found this as a simplest way and I really hope that this one is going to help you out to make your projects looking better. Thanks a lot for watching this one.